Hey guys, so it's been great working with this company, but I decided to officially um, move on onto other things. Um, so I guess this is the last of what you'll see of MONQ. Thank you so much for everyone who has ever purchased their orders of my affiliate links, but it's time for me to move on um, into other things, as I said. So, um, oh, there's a sponsor I did <laughs> um, earlier, but they're good. They're, their stuff works well. So, yep, in a sense, I'm closing the door now, <laughs> literally, on another chapter of my life and um, moving on. So thank you guys again for all your support with MONQ, but I decided to move on. So that's that making it official and I'll announce that in my ASMR channel as well. Yes, I'm feeling this new haircut. <laughs> I'm glad to get it short. I was going to get it like longer on the top and just the sides, but Honestly, every single time I try to do that, like shorten the length of the sides and the back and keep the top long, it always looks funny. It looks like an army haircut. So I'm like, <laughs> I decided to do the whole thing. Uh, the sides are in the back are shorter than the top. So it's just the right amount that I, I desire. But it's intense because my eyebrows are so big and mushy. I might actually have to go with the trimmer like that again. But I, I just got them uh, reshaped. To the size I want. I do them by myself, but because at one point this was way like, like the hairs were like growing out to here, and it just looked mismatched. Sometimes they still look mismatched. Like, oh, there's something there. I gotta, yeah, see that little. Anyway, they grow so fast. I gotta constantly reshape them. But yeah, overall, um, it's been a minute. It was getting really big, and I waited well over the four weeks to do this again but yeah i've just been doing this you know instead of going to the hair salon it saves you money and time an awkward conversation about your private life i've been using this lately all over my body and i swear it is my bible like literally it's so stress relieving and moisturizing Definitely calms and relaxes twice over the body every night. I just spend 10 minutes and that's part of like my self-care. And I just get better sleep at night, I feel. But it's running out fast when you do that. So I got to restock soon. And this as well, the Ole Moisture Ribbons Plus. Oh my God, that along with the tingly rosemary mint shampoo. This is my duo by Bolt as well, I swear by it i declare by it it's mm, relaxing tingly this person needs to go grocery shopping but is too lazy i've got to stop saying that as well about myself i'm not lazy i'm just busy slash productive maybe i even gotta stop saying i'm busy because every time a friend be texting me you know they're like what you doing tony let's hang out and i'm like sorry i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy and it's gotten to a point where like, I don't even think people bother messaging me anymore. They just wait for me to message them first because I'm always, well, per, how about I say productive from now on? Cause I don't want to keep, well, I do want to keep manifesting being busy cause obviously I gotta make money, right? But at the same time, sorry about that. Look at me rudely, just casually putting dishes away. But this is a vlog, you know, it's time. It feels like it's been a minute since I did a vlog. I always say that, but like, I mean, vlog, vlog, like, you know, like vlog format, not just like sitting the camera in one place and talking about something like I've been doing the past few vlogs. These are all vlogs, but anyway, I have a conference to attend. Is that all the dishes? Yeah. An online virtual conference to attend today, well, tonight and tomorrow morning. So I've been getting ready for that. Um, I have some free time now. I might actually just read some of my book. Oh no, I have to go do an upload and then after that I have to eat and then I have to attend the conference. So actually I don't have that much free time as I thought. <laughs> when do I? And then I have to get this vlog posted. So yeah, just saying. Uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. I was actually going to go like last minute to Texas 
drive there and attend this conference i was like oh my god like i didn't even realize like i thought it was next month if it was like the end of next month i probably would have driven there and went and got like all my recording equipment and just you know went because i can't be going on them planes you know all uh all that equipment i can't carry that on there and you know i, I just don't want to be going like covered on a two-hour flight like i just oh i'd feel nauseous and claustrophobic it drive me nuts. So I'd rather drive, and I like driving, you know? I, I just enjoy it. So um, I'd rather do that. But then I'm like, oh my God. I didn't realize back at the time, it was like Saturday, Sunday. It's this week. It's this Friday, Saturday. So I was like, had I known? And then I bought the tickets last minute. So now I bought a ticket for a live virtual event. I like going to a conference. I mean, like, you, you educate yourself. I like taking those online courses reading books, you know, constantly learning something new. Yes, Poopsie, constantly informing myself and constantly just striving to be better and do better, you know? And that's just one of my passions. That's what I'm so motivated about. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. Um, I was just counting the days, so yeah. It's more like a business-minded kind of conference, but yeah, definitely invest in yourself and strive to be better. This is me being lazy because I can. I'm not perfect. Okay, get up, Tony. <laughs> and lately, in all honesty, I've just been really persistent in hearing motivational messages. I, I, I love it. Like, there's something about it. That's so inspiring, like while I'm, literally while I was cutting my hair today, while I shave every other day, while I tweeze my eyebrows, while I brush my teeth, I mean, while I wash my face, there's something about it. Just listening to inspirational motivation, I have never felt better, I think. And so much so to where even like my old cravings, um, maybe things that would have had distracted me, have suddenly vanished and I don't really think about them anymore. I think it can really help people with certain things that they're drawn or addicted to. So anyway, guys, I just thought I'd point that out. Maybe it's something you can lately have just been drawn to a lot of motivational spoken word, teachings, readings. And I come up with better ideas. I get more creative. I think better. I'm at ease. I'm more at peace. I'm more faithful. I believe in myself more. And I think maybe that's what you need to hear in these times as well. It's just like, these times are not even a thing. They're, it's like a thing of the past to even say these times we're in. It doesn't even feel like we're in any other different times than, you know, unless I'm delusional. But, you know, like when you listen to the spoken word that's so positive and inspiring, you almost take yourself away from it. Like the days become sunnier and more colors become more vibrant and you just think differently and nothing can phase you or impact you in a negative way, you know? So, you know, maybe do that even when I go on walks. When I'm in the car, it's so helpful to listen to that message. So maybe it's something you needed. And I recently made a TikTok. I'm at TikTok, 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 Tupac. TikTok at Tony Bomboni three. And some people were confused. They were like, "What?" <laughs> Basically, what I was trying to do is there's this girl that. Okay, if you check my recent in TikTok, you'll know what I'm talking about. But there's this girl, in case you're confused, that actually, like, I guess it was her audition to be on Scream Queens or something. I don't know. So, I don't even know what Scream Queens is. I just know it's like a show or whatever. <laughs> is it a movie? I don't know. See, that's how much I don't know. But the point is, she was auditioning for it, I guess. And then she, like, hit record. And then she was just sat there and went like, <gasps> Oh, no. And she hit end, like, end the record, right? Like, she, I guess she was trying to pretend to be scared. And she messed up and she was like, you know, she said something wrong. And then, um, 
she messed up and she has a British accent. So I was like, okay, let me reenact this because it was so funny. So I was like, <gasps> no. <laughs> like, so people were like, wait, I don't get it. You know, because I, I said in the text, like, how my movie role audition went. I didn't actually audition for any movie. It was just a fun TikTok. And I even put in the description, like, do you know where this is from? Do you get the reference? And people didn't understand. So I was like, okay, you know what? It's okay, you know? <laughs> But I do wonder how TikTok works. Like, how do people get, like, big on there? How do they get many views? I don't know. Like, I've been trying to do TikTok, and I'm like, I, I just can't think of many ideas. That was just, like, I think of the most random stuff people used to do that was funny, like, on Vine back in the day or something, and I try to reenact it, but whatever, you know. <gasps> what the? No. <laughs> I could try to do it again.